Okay, hello and welcome back. Just a look at a couple of new tools we have on the tool board. Uh, this is a TD5 oil filter spanner and we have a uh, thermo viscous hub a spanner tool here and the holding tool. The oil filter spanner or oil filter wrench is available from Paddock Spares. Uh, typing in the top search will come up as TD5 oil filter wrench and you can see that we have the TD5 oil filter wrench. And if you're looking for an oil filter as well, the correct type that will be offered to you in related products. Right, so the oil filter is hidden underneath the turbo here. And you can see this pointed. This is a bit awkward to get to. And I'd warn you not to try and remove it with the oil exhaust being hot. Right, so we have a genuine oil filter. We have our TD5 uh, filter spanner. You can see that it fits directly into the serrated edges on the bottom of the oil filter, making it a positive grip without having to use a strap wrench. Obviously, you see the filter is actually purpose made for this type of tool. Right, on the end of it, you have a half inch driver slot there. This is to accommodate something like a half inch drive ratchet, like so. This is to help you if the filter is on too tight. Right, so we can attack the filter and it has to be down there in the most awkward place imaginable. And you can see it is a little bit of a hassle. What I've done is got one hand around the exhaust and then I can pull with it to undo it. Some of you that have already doing this type of job on your TD5, you know how awkward it is to get this filter off. And basically this tool, you can wind it until you've got it off the rubber and then you can wind it off by hand. You'll notice the oil feed pipe just underneath here. This doesn't really allow you access to lift the filter out without spilling the oil. TD5 has two filters and this one hidden here is a centrifugal filter. We'll approach that in another tutorial. So typing in the search box, TD5 at Viscous Hub Spanner, takes us through onto the search result page, which you can see clearly at the uh, Viscous Hub Spanners and the holder which we have in our possession. The cowl at the top can be removed by four screws. You undo them and then lift the cowl out of the way. This will give you access to the fan. Tools you will need to remove the viscous hub and I would advise getting a set of these because at some point you will be working on your engine where you need to remove the fan and they can get stuck. This is why we have a holder to hold the pulley bolts and then we can undo the nut. You'll want to locate them on three of the pulley nuts and uh, the holes there are in the right place. Once you've got that, you can then get your spanner and undo the viscous hub. The viscous hub can be on very tight at times, so be prepared for a fight. Okay, we've also got some jobs to do. One of those is this water outlet elbow, and we'll show you that in another tutorial.